This video lesson is for class 7 computer chapter 9, creating animations in animate. Let us learn about the timeline and to create simple animations in animate. The timeline is the area that lets you create animation by setting the sequence and timing of various objects in an animate document. It lets you create and control the content of an animation using layers, frames, and keyframes. Layers help you organize the objects, animations, and other elements in an animate document. Layers can be imagined as multiple transparent pages stacked on top of one another. Each layer can contain a different image that appears on the stage. You can throw and edit object in one layer without affecting the object in another layers. Frames contain the content of an animate document and are represented as small rectangular boxes across each layer in the timeline. Keyframes are created to mark significant points along the timeline where content of a document changes. A keyframe with content is represented using a solid dot in the timeline. The red marker in the timeline is called the playhead. It indicates the current frame display on the stage. When an animation plays, the playhead moves from left to right through the frame in the timeline. Inserting a frame or keyframe An animation is made up of a number of frames and keyframes. You can add as many frames or keyframes to an animation as required. To add a frame or keyframe, first on the timeline, click a rectangular placeholder where you want to insert a frame or keyframe. Second, on the application bar, click Insert, a menu appears. Third, point to the timeline option and click Frame or Keyframe. Animate insert a new frame or keyframe in the timeline as the selected placeholder. Deleting a frame. You can delete a frame not required anymore from the timeline. To delete a frame first, right-click the frame you want to delete in the timeline. Second. Click Remove Frames from the shortcut menu that appears. Animate Remove the desired frame from the timeline. Symbols A symbol is a graphics, button, or movie clip that is stored as a part of an animation. Any symbol that you create automatically becomes part of the library for the current document. Converting a drawing into a symbol To convert an object into a symbol, first, select an existing object on the stage you want to convert into symbol. Second, on the application bar, click Modify and then click Convert to Symbol. The Convert to Symbol dialog box opens. Third, in the name box, type the name for the symbol. Fourth, click the down arrow in the type box and select Graphic. Beep, click the OK button. Animate converts the object into a symbol and add it to the library of the document. Creating an instance of a symbol. To create an instance of a symbol first, on the application bar, click Windows and then click Library. The library panel opens with the symbol you have created. Second, click and drag the symbol onto the stage. Animate places an instance of the symbol on the stage. Creating Animation Animate CC provides different ways to create animations. The two common ways to create animation are Frame-by-frame -frame animation, Twin animation Frame-by-frame -frame animation is created by changing the contents of the stage in every frame. It is best suited to create complex animation in which content changes continuously in different ways. In Frame-by-frame -frame animation, each frame acts as a keyframe and has content slightly different from the previous frame. Using the onion skin features To use the onion skin features, click the onion skin button at the bottom of the timeline. The start onion skin and end onion skin markers appears in the timeline. You can control the number of onion skin display by dragging the start onion skin and end onion skin markers. Twin animation. Twin animation is an effective way to create animations automatically. Twin animation is of two types, 
motion twin and shape twin motion twin motion twin lets you create animation of object moving on the stage along a specified path animate automatically fills the frame lying between the two key frames to make the objects move between the two positions shape twin Shape Twin lets you create animation in which content of another frame. Animate inserts the intermediate content for the frames in between the two key frames creating the animation.